Today we're gonna to talk about why male dumpers always seem to come back. So starting in 2019, the X Recovery coaches and I made a conscious effort to start interviewing more success stories. Oftentimes coach Anna or coach Tyler would tag me in our private Facebook support group, basically letting me know, hey, my coaching client who is a member of this private Facebook group has successfully gotten their ex back or has had an ex ask for them back and moved on from them because they didn't want them back anymore you might be interested in interviewing this person. So in 2019, you'll start to notice even on this YouTube channel, we started posting a lot more of our success stories for free. So people can get inspired, but also learn what's actually working in the real world. Sometimes it's not enough for you just to take everything I say at face value. Sometimes you actually have to listen to someone who is in your shoes, going through a breakup, trying to move on from their ex or trying to get their ex back and look and see what worked for them. And what's interesting is we started to notice this fascinating trend, this phenomenon that would occur. You see, most of the time our coaching clients would try to get their exes back and be very adamant about the fact. It would be kind of an all or nothing type situation. The world would end if they didn't get this person back. And so they would push and push and push and ultimately fail. Their ex wouldn't want them back. And yet, after they failed or tried everything and it didn't work, they gave up. They started really focusing on moving on, on healing from the breakup. And then once they had moved on, all of a sudden the ex wants them back. What is going on here? Now, believe it or not, I can actually trace this phenomenon back to one of the very first episodes that I ever recorded for my podcast, the Ex-Boyfriend Recovery Podcast. We had a woman who would call in and ask a question who literally said, you know what, it's been years since this person broke up with me, I've started this new business, things seem to be going incredibly well, and now all of a sudden he wants me back. Why do you think that is? So. Even as early as 2017, we started to notice this trend unfold and it's just gotten larger and larger and larger. And finally, with the introduction of attachment theory, we think we can understand what's going on here. Most of the time, we're finding that the people who dump you tend to fall into the avoidant attachment style, right? So either they are a dismissive avoidant or a fearful avoidant, but they have avoidant tendencies. And what's interesting about people like this is they operate on a little bit of a different framework than you do. So let's talk a little bit about some of the avoidant frameworks that maybe you're not familiar with that can help us understand why male dumpers always seem to come back. Real quick, I wanna say that if you're new to this YouTube channel or you're trying to figure out what you should be doing to get your ex back and you're trying to learn if you even have a chance in your specific circumstance, probably the smartest thing for you to do is actually stop by our website, www.exboyfriendrecovery.com or take our ex recovery chances quiz that can be found at exboyfriendrecovery.com. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, taking that free quiz is super easy to do. All you have to simply do is look in the description link below this YouTube video and click on the link you see there. It will take you directly to the quiz where you can fill it out and get an easy answer on what you should be doing going forward and overall what your chances look like in your specific situation. All right, so let's get you back to the video. So maybe the first shocking thing that you will learn about avoidance and the avoidant mentality is that they initially prefer to be in this constant state of rejection and it makes them feel safe because they don't have to commit fully to any one person. Often you'll find the avoidant has one foot in the relationship and one foot out the door. They don't really wanna commit because that freaks them out. And so this odd thing or paradox will come about. They want love, but they don't wanna let anyone close enough to give them that love. And so they're constantly navigating this one foot in the door, one foot out the door type of a situation. But perhaps the biggest insight I can leave you with is the avoidant always seems to want the ungettable persona. This is why I think the ungettable girl or the ungettable mindset seems to be such a resonant thing with our coaching clients. A lot of times they look at it as the North Star of what they're trying to aspire to be and they know for a fact 
People, like their exes or other men, seem to want to reach for that ungettable person. The avoidant always likes to have or hold out for that perfect person. And this really is an important concept to understand because eventually what ends up happening is when they feel safe enough, they will allow themselves to reminisce or have nostalgia about your time together. It kind of falls into that ungettable persona. They start to look at it because it feels safe. They start to look at the relationship not as a whole, but they start to look at the very personal, intimate moments in a positive way. Now, what makes them feel safe? Well, often what will make an avoidant feel safe is often when they feel like there's no chance of the two of you ever getting back together again. And this brings us back to the initial question why male dumpers always seem to come back when it looks like you've moved on from them. Because Initially, when you try to get this person back, let's say that you are trying to get them back and you're not trying to get over them. When you're trying to get this person back, they don't want that. They are reminded maybe of some of the anxious tendencies that you had throughout the relationship and they push you away. And yet when you allow them to have time to go through their own weird grieving process and feel safe like you can never get back with them again, they'll allow themselves to reminisce. And we think this is what's happening. It's weird to say this, but we think a lot of the reasons for why men seem to come back or male dumpers are coming back has more to do with timing than anything else. You have put forth signals into the ecosystem that you are moved on from your ex and you don't want them back anymore. And they buy those signals and allow themselves permission to kind of miss you. And then they kind of have that trip down memory lane. Oh, it was so good. You know, why did I mess that relationship up? Um, you know, they're a little bit more amenable at that point to you reaching out and starting a conversation so long as you're exhibiting secure signals as opposed to anxious signals. So ultimately, what does the timeline look like in a situation like this? All right, so you have the male dumper who dumps you. And then initially, assuming you get everything right in a perfect world, you decide you're gonna completely move on from your ex. So you kind of do a no contact rule, you start focusing on other people, maybe go on a few dates with other people, maybe you start dating someone new. And it's only after they see this and by the fact that you have moved on from them that they allow themselves to have some type of nostalgia. But the important thing to understand about specifically fearful avoidance is often they are too scared to reach out to you. So if you do want a reconnection or at least explore that idea, you'll have to be the one to reach out to them at the right time. Time. This is why we really harp on the no contact rule being such an important factor because it allows the avoidant this time to have nostalgia. And things can become a little bit more complicated when you include other people. Let's say the avoidant, and this can happen sometimes, will try to mask their pain by moving on to someone new, but they will never fully commit to that new person. So they're just going from rebound to rebound to rebound. They avoid those really deep commitment-based talks. And so sometimes you need to wait for the right time to reach out and simply put, a lot of people fall into the goldfish mentality of where they want results right now. And that's just not feasible, especially if you have an ex who's avoided. So ultimately we think the real reason that male dumpers always seem to come back is usually when you have projected that you are moving on from them.